Okay, so here we go. It's now cool to the touch. Still a little bit warm, but still cool to the touch. Able to, to use it. The paints seems to be dried. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to flex this. You see how this is just breaking apart, just like paint would? There you go. So this is the part that was not heated. I can pretty much pick all the paint off. That's not going to stay for anything. Okay, so let's take a look at the other side. Both sides are about as flexible. What you're going to see is this is going to crack and flex, but it's sticking. So you're going to get a little bit where the extreme flexion was, but how many times are you going to flex your grip that much? I mean, I'm bending it 90 degrees before it actually starts to, to fail. But what you're going to notice is the rest of the grip is solid. Now this has some dimpling on it. That dimpling will wear thin, but I'm rubbing it pretty hard. But the paint is going to stay deep in the dimples, so even if the surface comes off and gives you a grayish tone to it, the paint is still embedded within the rubber. So here's what you got. And again, I'm rubbing pretty, pretty firmly. What I've done is I've actually vulcanized the vinyl paint right into the rubber itself, so it's bonded to the rubber. This side that wasn't heated is just blistering and cracking right off. There's nothing to support it. And if you rub it enough, it just comes clean. Now, what I was talking about before, let's see, you really don't like it. Take your brake cleaner, Sure, you can see that. Let me back the camera up just a little bit. Oop, wrong way. There we go. Let's say you don't like the looks of the grip. Little brake cleaner takes it right off. Not so much on this side. It's going to take a little bit more effort. Hit it a couple of times and it will start to come off. And then it might take an actual wire brush to get down into the crevices to clean it. So the heated method of using a high heat heat gun is going to anneal or to uh, vulcanize the, the paint right into the rubber itself and it should give you years of use. I can't imagine it coming off. Again, you're going to find some areas like on the high spots that are going to rub free. That's fine. It adds to the character of the grip. But you can add different colors to it at this point. You could take a darker brown, sponge over it, whatever you want to do. Again, I recommend leaving some of the black exposed because you want to be able to grip the grip. This does make it more of a painted feel, so you're going to lose some of the stickiness of the rubber. So that's it, and uh, hopefully this will help you achieve some good results with your guns. Uh, again, you know, prep is most of the work, so you want to make sure you clean the grip completely, get all the grease off. Acetone does not hurt my rubber grips. I can't say it's not going to hurt yours, so test it somewhere so in a safe spot. Um, acetone or non-chlorinated brake cleaner. Let it dry and then spray it, bake it, let it cool completely and you should be good to go. Hope this helps somebody. Take care.